I'm going to try not to fall asleep in my water bottle pop. Whatever. Kind of a rambly video talking to a wall, but, you know, sometimes, you know, I guess sometimes people are wondering what's going on with my life. And also, as well, if I ever look back on my life, I'll be like, this is what I was thinking about at that time. And at this time right now, I've actually been kind of thinking about, do I want to live in America? Like, seriously. And there's a lot of reasons for this thought. One, inflation is just so much in America. It's just, it's insane, right? I mean, I don't know how much other people pay for insurance, but I'm paying, my my medical insurance in the past couple years has raised by like $300. I spend $500 a month on just insurance, right? Now, granted, again, I have a lot of health problems, right? Most people don't have the kind of health problems I have. But $500 for fucking insurance, right? That's, is ludicrous, you know? And sometimes, I shouldn't say sometimes, I listen to a lot of ASMR, but sometimes while I'm just listening to something in the background besides ASMR, like a podcast will come on. And some podcast came on. And it was just dudes talking about, you know, retiring in other countries early retirement go to another country because it's cheaper and i'm old i i feel like that <laughs> not as old as some of these guys right but i feel that vibe a little bit <laughs> and it's like what am i doing spending 500 dollars on insurance i'm like this is it's ludicrous right i could be living in another country 500 dollars could be my living situation And, you know, I think about this kind of stuff because I think, what am I doing in America, right? Like, even when I went to Japan this past time in the fall, you know, I spent most of the time sick. I didn't even do anything, really, you know. And, of course, you know, I'm sure there's some hater that watches this. You know, oh, I know Clayton, but he's traveling. He's, he's partying. You're, uh, uh, I think he is, at least, you know. When I travel, I don't party. I don't do all this crap, you know what I mean? But even though I was sick, you know, I still think that, you know, it's like, well, at least I'm sick in a different country. It's better than being sick in America, right? So, you know, I think about that perspective. And, you know, even since I've gotten back to America, you know, Jesus Christ, dude. God, today, you know, I went for a walk. I don't know. I, I think I probably took like four or five breaks in a few hours. Like, you know, my health has still been shit, right? And, you know, that was the fall. I was in Japan, right? And I've been in a bad cluster headache period, you know, which some doctors say is the most painful condition known to man, right? And it is it's painful. It sucks, right? You know, bad migraine period. And it's just like, dude, my life is, is wasting away in America being sick. At least I could be sick in another country. You know, I've, I've actually been sort of like thinking that, like, what am I doing here? $500 a month? It's insane. And I even recently had, uh, you know, on that topic, right, you know, I've been on disability for so long, you know, but randomly, you know, you'll just get like, oh, you got to do your disability re-review, whatever, right? And, you know, so I did that shit. And it, it was almost kind of like a slap in the face when you do it because, you know, you got to fill out stuff and fill out doctor notes, whatever. And it was something like, God, I don't remember what the question was asked. It was something like... um. Have you been to the doctor at least three times in the since 2022 or some shit like that? And I'm like, it was like 2022. I was like, what? It's like, I've been to the doctor three times just the past couple of weeks. I'm like, what? And then I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 I guess you are. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, it was almost like, a, it's like, almost like a slap in the face, dude. It's like, oh God, my life is so pathetic, dude. And, you know, I'm sure they do it because... You know, I'm sure there's legitimately people that scam the system in some way or something like that. But I just thought, I was like, dude, I've been to the doctor fucking three times just like in the past couple fucking weeks, dude. You know, I'm fucked up all the fucking time. So, you know, I've been in a bad mood. So fucking, it's terrible being sick, right? But I think about, you know, the Japan thing. It's like, well, at least I could be sick in another country, 
not, you know, America. Excuse me. And so, you know, I was actually looking into it, into, into some people that maybe don't know. Excuse me, you know, there's different kinds of, like, disability, right? And I actually get SSDI, which is, excuse me, sorry, I just ate and I'm fucking sleepy. I'm so tired, dude. You know, I, I've seen some haters of mine try to say that uh, I get all this government disability kind of thing or something. And I never worked and I'm just like a freeloader or some shit like that. I don't get that disability. I get SSDI disability, right? And SSDI disability is actually paid for by yourself from what you worked. And so because of that, you know, I don't get as much money as other people had they gotten sicker when they were older. Like had I not gotten sick as a kid, you know, and, I, and had I had like a, a full-time job for longer than I did and worked all this other stuff for longer, I would be getting more money right now, right? Like I think the maximum you can get is, uh, I looked it up just recently, I think the maximum you can get is something like just under $44,000, I think it is for um, SSDI disability, but I don't get anywhere. I don't get anywhere near that because I didn't work that much before I got fucking sick. But, you know, I was looking into it and they're like, you know, looking into if I were to live in another country. And of course, something like SSI disability, they don't let you do that, right? Because why would the government give you free money to live in another country? But SSDI disability, you are allowed to do that. So, you know, I was looking it up. And I'm like, okay, and you know, something like, geez, even in Japan, you know, Japan, what is the, the dollar to yen right now? It's like, what, dollar 53 or some shit like that? It's cheaper for me to fucking live in Japan, right? It's insane. And um, so, yeah, SSDI disability, you, you can, it doesn't matter because it's paid for by you in the first place, right? And, you know, I was even like, Thinking like, I, I, you know, but of course, Japan, I'm like, well, Japan is really hard to get a long term visa, you know, and um, if you can get work there a little bit, you can. And the thing about the thing about the differences between SSI disability and SSDI disability is SSDI disability, you are actually allowed to work a certain amount, right, on the side. And... Even if you look at that, you know, God, it's something like you can basically make about, I forget exactly, something about an extra $18,500 in the year or something on the side. And if you make more than $18,500, then they start checking you, okay, you know, what, what's going on here? If you're actually making this much money on the side, something must be going on. But a caveat to that as well is that you or whatever it is, before you get to that $18,500, whatever it is, they automatically have to deduct whatever your medical expenses are as well. So if you think someone like me is like, just fucking $500 for my goddamn fucking insurance. And you know, my insurance is pretty decent, but um, you know, you there's still co-pays and everything like that. And honestly, half the time I'm like, Oh, God, I don't even know if this $500 insurance is worth it. Like, it actually might be cheaper just for me to go back to, like, say, a $300 insurance. Because I don't know if paying the extra $200 is actually outweighing some of these co-pays, it feels like, half the time. You know what I mean? It's like, well, I, I, I don't know. But the point is, who knows? You know, and there's even other things you could do. Like, dude, I, I've had months where my medical bills just for the month is like $800, right? So you, so you think you spend like, oh, well, you got to take $500 of that, minus $500 of that, minus $100, $800 of that. You know, you could be, who knows? You could be making like $25,000 on the side. <laughs> because I'm not making anything like that in the first place. Jesus Christ. Now, it would be nice if it was something like, you know, YouTube. Oh, my God. Especially that first time that Dragon Ball Fighter Z came out. You know, I, I said before, God, with my views, even with people talking shit about me, lying about me, you know, people not wanting to share my videos, my videos getting deleted. And then, you know, it's crazy to think how many people have made money off of me. You know, um, God, with my amount of views, had not all my videos been getting flagged, I could have made easily 
10k on the low side that first Dragon Ball Fighter Z year, maybe 20k on the higher side, just, just from YouTube, right? Now, of course, I lost millions and millions and millions and millions of views, so I didn't make anything like that, right? But the point is, you know, you think about if I could go to another country, and then who knows, you know? Because even I think about now, like God, how am I, how am I gonna live like this, dude? Like my insurance has raised like three hundred dollars a month just in the past couple years. That's crazy. That's that's insane. Inflation is like killing me. Three hundred extra dollars a month in just the span of a couple years. My insurance has raised by three hundred dollars. You know, and it's like I, I made the joke. I have an OnlyFans. You can subscribe to the OnlyFans if you want to support me. Support the YouTube. You know. Um. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh my god, I literally, you know, I, I have the OnlyFans almost as a joke. Some people do sign up to it. I mean, if you are desperate to see me naked, I mean, you can go there. But you know, a lot of times when people message, they're like, yeah, are you gonna? <laughs> you gonna put something up your butt? And I'm like, well, I'm not gay, dude, so no. And I'm like, oh, uh, kind of, I kind of wanted to see that. Well, it's like, dude, I'm not gay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, can you at least jack off for me? And I'm like, well, bro, I mean, come on. I don't know, but I mean, the point is, I, I don't know. I don't know about putting anything up the butt. You better give me a lot of money if something's going up the butt. I think everyone's got a price. My price is a million dollars if you want. See something go. You want to see the, see them go up there, but you know, jokes aside. But you know, have seriousness. Is like, dude, I really might have to start jacking off on OnlyFans because I don't know what to do, dude. Inflation is is crazy, and I also think that oh my god, you know, I made that recent video, and I will say this past um quite a while, despite how sick I've been, I got to be honest, I'm getting stopped a lot in public, you know. And I think about, God, what would my life maybe have been like if when all my pictures were getting stolen on the internet, I could have actually like monetized that, right? Instead of my fakes becoming famous. You know, I, I don't know. It's just, it's almost, it's almost, it's, it's like weird. Like it's crazy to think how much I get stopped in public. How often my pictures are stolen on the internet. I don't know about it as much as they're stolen now. Of course, I still, very randomly, I do see people steal my pictures and pretend to be me, of course, but nothing like, you know, years and years ago. But, um, you know, I think it, it makes me think like, man, I gotta, I have to make extra money somehow because I can't afford America, right? It's too much money here. It's crazy. And I actually got messaged by a modeling company recently but they were they were shady to me before and so i kind of gave them a shady response and they didn't even respond to me after that but you know i kind of I, I don't know i can't you know I, I guess i'm not desperate enough to like fake suck a dick for a company that was kind of like shady to me before for some like extra money you know but um, you know i would love to make extra money on youtube of course you know you see god it's crazy to think how many communities have lied about me it's, it's, almost, it's almost like a testament. I feel like it's almost a testament that shows I have done so much for video games that no one is ever going to compare with the fact that so many communities have lied about me. But, I mean, at the same time, again, it's a moral victory. and I'm not profiting off a of moral victory. So I have actually looked into going to these other countries. In Japan, again, getting a real visa to stay there for a long time is so... It's basically almost impossible unless you get a job or something or try to sign up as a student or, you know, then whatever, finagle something. And I've tried to look into long-term visas and there are different kinds of ways for other countries. But Japan was something crazy. It was either something like you have to either put down something like $30,000 in a business or some shit like that, or you have to show that you have $300,000 in the bank or some shit like that and will actually give you a long-term visa even if you're an American. So there's some kind of loophole like that. I don't got fucking $300,000 in the bank, right? So I've looked at other countries. I mean, I've looked at other random countries like, you know, Indonesia, you know, Thailand, you know, the Philippines. I've looked at all sorts of weird countries because I'm like, dude, 
what am I going to do in America? There's, there's just like nothing for me here. I've even looked at Turkey and Turkey, admittedly, I guess admittedly, you can move to Turkey pretty goddamn easy. They, they don't give a fuck. There's not many rules for moving to Turkey. You know, hey, you're going to move here? Jesus, well, okay. And, you know, it almost makes me think, God, had I uh, had I uh, not had such bad experiences when, when I went to Turkey, you know, maybe it'd be like, wow, I might actually think about that because I've seen, you know, people like a couple can retire. A couple can retire comfortably in Turkey for 1500 to 2,500. He's like, a couple? I'm a single fucking person. Okay, I'm like I could do that, right? You know? And God, who knows? Maybe my insurance would be fucking cheaper when I'm over there. I'm not going to spend fucking 500 bucks on fucking keeping myself alive. But, uh, and I've even thought of like, well, God, you know, I don't want to live in Turkey though, right? I mean, because of the shit show. I mean, there's many cute girls. I mean, we could... There's definitely many cute girl reasons to maybe go to Turkey. And I do love the animals, but, uh, you know, I had such a bad time there, unfortunately, for the most part. And a lot of the people were very disappointing. Um, so that's kind of like, oh, God, I don't know. But even I think about, you know, God, you know, I look at some of these other countries, you know, there's lots of, some of them have rules. Like you have to be a certain age. You got to be in your 50s. Well, fuck, I got a long time until I'm in my 50s. I'm old, but I'm not 50s old. Like, I can't believe that's a rule for some countries. Like, oh, yeah, you're allowed to move here, but you have to be over 50. Well, fuck, I, I got a ways till I'm 50. I'm not even 40 yet. So, you know what I mean? I got a ways to go. But I'm not going to survive in America spending $500 for fucking insurance. Yeah, I think I got to make some extra money somehow. I can't afford to live in America. And, but then at the same time, like, what am I going to do here? You can't really get, um, you know, I even said before when I tried to, even I said before, you know, when my pictures were getting stolen again, that's so much. I'm like, should I try to do the modeling? And I told that story of that one modeling company, they didn't even think it was me. You know, they're like, oh, we, they're, I, I, I like, I called them. I'm like, hey, I never got a response, you know, for my pictures. Like, well, do you think I could get an interview? And I somehow got the boss on the phone. The boss was like, if we didn't respond to you, we probably, you just probably didn't care. But like, so, but because you got me on the phone, you know, just send me your pictures right now and I'll look at it, look at you. And she's like, wait, that's you? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. She's like, you look like this? She's like, yeah, can you like come in? To, I don't know, she said tomorrow weekend. You know, like lickety split. You know, I'm like, like, whoa, okay, yeah, <laughs> you got a job. Now, of course, unfortunately, then I said I was sick. And then, you know. They don't want to hire someone that's sick, which is, you know, admittedly, it makes sense, right? I mean, look at me right now, dude. Like I said, I've been fucking Japan. I got back at Japan at the fucking end of the fucking end of the year, and I'm still fucking sick in bed all the time, dude. Like, I've been in a very, it's actually kind of scary. I've been in a very long period of being sick. Like, uh, you know, I don't think people can even no, people can't even really appreciate what it's like that to be that sick. You know, it's like most people are like, oh, I'm sick today. Like, I'm sick every day. But then some days I'm even more sick, right? Like, I'm like, dude, I'm in bed so much. Like, this has been a pretty long period of a lot of cluster headaches and migraines. And it's like unfortunate, but, you know, what are you going to do? And you think, well, and of course no one wants to fucking hire you for a little bit of extra money if that's going on. Right? You know, so it's like understandable and like it's just like even going for these walks just to try to keep myself in shape is really I honestly, you know what? Actually, right, to be honest, even thinking about it, I don't think I've even made it through a walk since I've gotten past back from Japan without having to take a break, which is incredible and scary, to be honest with you. How long I'm I'm so fatigued and that's why I said I actually literally I filled up the TRT prescription finally because I'm like, I got to do something like I am really close to taking this because my health is really bad, dude. Like it's it's scary. Like my fatigue is just too much right now. Like I don't know what to do, dude. You know, so A anyway, the thought is I mean, the basic thought is like I've actually like literally started looking into 
could I live in another country? Could I go to Turkey to be with the Tom Billy cats and to bang a bunch of cute Muslim girls who are not the most, the best Muslims, but Allah will forgive them? <laughs> could I move to Japan? Could I move to some other? You know, even the thing is like, you know, you look at, the, and I've even thought of, I wonder if even if you can't get a long-term visa, you can still be in another country for six months. And I even thought, well, dude, would it actually be cheaper just to like country hop six months in this country? Get a plane ticket. You're already close to one of these countries. It's not going to be that much money. Six months in that country, then go back to fucking Japan. I don't want to be in Japan during this fucking stuff summer anyway. I hear it's fucking terrible. Right? Like I've lit. excuse me. I've literally thought of like, dude, I think that might be cheaper. Now, of course, there's other problems. I'd have to, you know, legitimately, of course, you know, I'd have to try to figure out doctor stuff there. But I even thought like, dude, what the fuck? I might not even have to spend $500 on the fucking insurance in the first place. It's probably just cheaper there to get insurance. Not like I don't get the money from, you know, SSDI. I already fucking paid for it, you know, from the work credits and all that kind of shit. So... You get it for the rest of your fucking life, you know. So. Then maybe if I can make some extra money on the side, whatever, you know, I, I'd probably live. And, you know, the thing about Japan, too, is I think that, oh, my God, you don't even have to live in a nice place. Japan, you're so safe. It's like, dude, you can live in Japan in, like, a shithole. And it doesn't even matter, right? I mean, and the thing is, I'm not a person. I don't party. I don't do all this stuff anyway. You know, I always think back, and I told the story before, I remember when I was first going through all my disability stuff. And I remember, you know, you go on forums and all this kind of stuff, and there's definitely some people that, you know, you hear them talk, and it's almost like, do you want to be sick? Like, I remember some persons that, like, they, they're one, they won their disability case, and they threw a party, and, you know, when I won my disability case when it first happened, it's like, dude, I was dying. When it, when it, when it, when it, you know, you had the first trial, you know, and then you won and whatever. But, you know, and then I've done some reviews since then. But, you know. But it's like, you know, and that's another thing, too, because I think that uh, it wasn't like a happy moment, you know. And even now when I think about going to another country, there's that thought too of, am I am I really admitting defeat? Because you know, even when I did was doing that review recently, they're like, it's like I think I think it said like something like two, 2022 or something. How many times have you been to the doctor? Have you been to the doctor at least three times? It's like three times. <laughs> I'm at the doctor almost every fucking goddamn day. It feels like, and I say that it's like I don't want to be sick. I am still actively going to the doctor. I still actively go to the doctor. Obviously, a lot of people don't even realize how sick I am by the way I look. You know what I mean? By how healthy. I try to keep myself as healthy as I can. Like, I'm trying to not be sick. I'm trying to get better, right? You know what I mean? Like, I'm actively pursuing health, right? And so, you know, sometimes I do think that, um, you know, it, it, and it's sad because there probably are some people that they just, they get their disability or some shit like that. And like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm just not going to work, not going to do anything. You know, maybe there's like a sense of defeat and they don't even like try to get better or something like that, you know. But I'm not saying that's everybody, you know. But there probably is a, a demographic that is uh, not as strong-willed or maybe their sense of defeat has totally taken over. And certainly I have a huge sense of defeat myself, but uh, I don't know. I also think that part of me thinks that, God, if I move to another country, maybe it's just finally over. I give up. You know, I'm not, if I move to another country, maybe I'd be like that too. But like, I'm not going to bother keep going to the doctor all the time. Like, I give up. You know, I'm going to take my meds, get my prescriptions filled, but I'm not going to actively pursue, you know. And, you know, I think that too, like, you know, because like, God, I've been sick since I've been a kid, you know, so it's not like, but of course, you know, God, I think they're, they're, you know, I'm not the, 
God, I don't even know. Sometimes I go, what would I do with all the fragrances I have? You know, the, I do have shit. I, I would have to think of something to do with all the shit I have, right? But, you know, in video game stuff, you know, I think I don't really play a lot of video games. I've gone months without playing video games. But I guess if I was living in another country, I probably probably would probably have to get a computer or a laptop there or maybe want some kind of video game. But then I guess if I, I was in Japan, if I was actually living there, maybe I would actually be inclined to go to the arcade every now and then. But then I think that it's arcade stick. And my hands are fucked up. I don't know. I got a lot of thoughts about it, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that's me rambling. If you like the videos, like, subscribe, comment, share, support the channel if you want. Appreciate it. Thanks. The end.